Hey guys, Shaivir here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour, uh, one of my handmade sketchbooks and true to be told this is actually my first sketchbook that I ever did and I did it from my art journal and Truth to be told, this is my ever first art journal. I talked about that before some of, in some of my live streams. That why I haven't done this before, but anyhow. Uh, so let's take a look of it. I sew it by hand. You can see over here. I make the cover with, you know, my art. I make a collage of some of my artworks that I did back then, some of my fan arts, uh, what of Mass Effect you can see, some of my personal artwork, and uh, yeah. And then I add, oops, <laughs> <laughs> then I add two ribbons so I can, you know, separate the pages. Anyhow, so let's get going. Over here you can see that I was not sure how to make it to not, you know, crack or just uh, fall apart. And I did this uh, using some of tape, but um, now I do know how to make them much better than before. But let's be honest, this is made for in 2018 and now we are now are in 2021. 2021. Wow, three years ago. Anyhow, so let's get go get into it. So in the first page, I add a Shire Fury Shire art journal. I was so excited because I never did this kind of stuff before. I do have my own other sketchbooks, but I want this to be my more personal space, sort of speak, and what's going on with my my life, what I have uh, done, and um, most of those things I actually share in my Patreon uh, in a special tier that give more information of the pages, what is what is the meaning of behind them. I like this page because it's like a nice sky with some light bulbs and some ideas over here. Uh, over here I did um, color theory warm colors, cold colors, color wheel and I sincerely do like this one then I I'm gonna say that I change and I think in 2020 um, no in 2019 I did a special um, watercolor journal or like I said a color journal and then I do it only mainly for color studies and more color wheel theory and anyhow so i'm continuing weapons of choice to be honest this is one of my favorite pages to make because back then i have some of the materials i have all of those materials and i still have some of them but uh i had some of my ink pens that i was using that i really really do like and i was like uh, for drawing, um, I have some of them, acrylic that I'm using from Mimery, uh, Ecoline, who I do have to say that Ecoline uh, liquid watercolors are amazing colors. I have Winsor & Newton oil paint, Copic markers, I do have to change some of my Copic markers now because they're out of color. <laughs> A uh, normal uh, pencil and of course my watercolor set. This is in particular is from Nevska Palitra and White Knight's uh, compact uh, 12 colors that I use it for my travel kit. Now I don't travel so I don't use it that much but I use it at home but that's a whole different story because we are still in quarantine you know. And my for my digital artwork I have my Wacom tablet. I have now a Cintiq 20, 27 inch QHD and my first Wacom tablet was Bamboo, which was actually a gift. And my very, very first tablet was from Genius, but I didn't include it here. Anyhow, 
So, continuing. Here I made a study from a flower that is basically you can see it's dead and here's some of the stuff, the leaves of it and I leave it like that because I like it and here's my reference, here's my study. I took that flower from one day we were on the beach and I just go past it and just take it with me and yeah. And truth to be told, I love this page. Do more of what makes you happy. And I had also so so many of my smiles being begin with you uh, because I live over here. This is actually uh, my country. Oh, over here it's very small country. That's why I have this little dot <laughs> and the flag of my country and. This page is basically, this page is basically, I'm getting excited <laughs> because, um, you know, some of those comments are actually said to me personally via uh, messenger or in my Etsy shop, some of my clients and they're beautiful and I never imagined that I will receive some, some of those compliments as in my artwork, about my artwork and I was so pleased and I, you know, keep them safe like a reminder for myself so yeah, that's why I said it like that so many of my smiles begin with you so thank you guys anyhow, continuing this page is kind of weird but it also have a meaning to to me. Uh, finish not perfect. I watched a video of the guy who actually invaded uh, Inktober, and I got so much inspired of this finish not perfect because I was busting myself and beating myself so much about that it's not perfect. Even though that I know what I'm doing, sometimes I was like. No, it's not good enough and blah 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 and all of those stuff and actually that video kind of helped me and helped to keep my perfectionist side into like a different person go stay down be calm and just do what you know and just draw and yeah so yeah some of the stuff that i do photos for uh, pigments anatomy studies and that's why i added this page and that's why it's so vibrant as well because colors you know neon and everything over here in this page i sincerely do love to listen to music a lot um i'm doing Basically, uh, when I'm working, drawing, even if, in, even if I'm doing it for a commission work or work work for a Patreon or something like that, I just love to listen to music and this is some of my playlists back then. Some of the songs that are here actually are continuing listening even now. So I do recommend Gravity Co. AO or and Cry. I do recommend also Alan Zacks. Uh, she's only happy when it rains. When it rains, I love that song a lot. And um, yeah, Melen Farmer. Yeah, I love that that woman. She has an amazing voice. Anyhow, and over here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's M4 Part Two. This is actually from the soundtrack. From Mass Effect so yeah if you don't know I love playing games anyhow continuing uh, <laughs> this is um, sleep what is that I uh, back then in 2018 I have I had and probably still have um, problem with my sleep I don't sleep I didn't sleep that much uh, staying way too late and then wake up way too early <laughs> so yeah this is a page dedicated to that uh, this illustration is basically me because i i do love to read before i go to sleep and uh yeah oh 
this page. This page is basically dedicated to um, all of the people who actually stood beside me when I had a brutal hand injury and I some of you may know some of you may not but basically you're gonna know right now I had a brutal hand injury I was not able to draw for a very long time like three four months and it was taking a toll on me mentally uh, emotionally for sure emotionally and uh, when I was able to, to pick a pencil, it was hurting. I was not able to feed myself with my right hand because I'm a right-handed. And I was not able to do anything with my right hand. Even feeding myself, and I had to learn to feed myself with my left hand. And it was kind of a brutal experience. And uh, at one point, I started to make... Uh, stories in my Instagram profile my Facebook page uh, because I had commissions and I had other work that I was supposed to do but I was not able to do it because of my hand because I was needing my two hands to to make some craft or uh, to draw I needed my right hand and I was not able to do so and it was a very hard time for me and some of the people who actually, you know, uh, reach out to me and my clients, especially some of them, now they're my patrons. I love you guys. You are amazing and very patient people. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my way of saying thank you to all those people. Um, this is after a couple of months i think i did this page uh, because i just wanted to loosen up a lot so yeah and the text over here this quote is i don't know who that uh who is the person who said it i didn't uh, give it a credit so i'm sorry for that but it's a wise man for sure every fool knows you cannot touch the stars, but it do, it doesn't stop a wise man from trying. So, yeah, I was in that place. Uh, here, I did a song page, uh, meaning that I drew something and then I add the text of some of my favorite song. And the song that was... Brutally resonating with me is from Enigma Y, and I love that song. Um, this is Dream and Draw page. I just repeated those two words till I was done <laughs> with it. And this page I actually do like a lot. This is uh, acrylic Nebua, uh, my second attempt from here. I did it. I did it here and it's obviously much better but that's a whole different story and I left some space so I can add a quote and I like the quote from Mass Effect 2 a world emission of Tali so I add the quotes in it and it actually fits perfectly for me personally and in this page for sure and then was December in 2018 I have some quote over here. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that page. I'm just gonna say that the text over here is from Nat King Cole. The song is called Smile. So if you want, go listen it to it. It's a lovely smile. <laughs> lovely smile, yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely song. And uh, here is my fab drinks and my fab fab foods. I'm a salad person, uh, for sure. I do love salads. And this is actually non-alcohol mojito because I don't drink alcohol at all. But I explained this a bit more in my Patreon because I, all of those pages are in my Patreon with more explanation. I'm just giving it a, a bit of a review. This one is from a coffee place here in my city but worse it's a very cool place to go 
apparently we cannot go now but uh, I used to go there with my soul sisters and having a cup of cappuccino and uh, yeah nice this is a Bulgarian Shopska salad my favorite salad the other one is Caesar salad but that's a whole different story <laughs> anyhow Thailand got us dedicated page. Uh, do I need to explain how much I like Thailand, how much I like girls? You can find them anywhere in my social media. <laughs> because I do love a lot the Mass Effect game. And Tali is my favorite Quarian. And Garas. There is no words to explain about Garas. Anyhow, continuing. And Christmas time. I did a some collage over here because I draw something beneath that those stuff that I had, but I didn't like it, so I made a collage and yeah. Uh, a page that is dedicated to the things that I love and some of the things that I, I do love to do, and you don't know probably. But I'm a windsurfer and I do have my surf and I can't wait to be uh, summer so I can go to the beach, take my surf and get in the water and just relax and you know. Anyhow, so you can see what I actually like. There are a lot of explanation about that page but like I said it's in my Patreon. Oh, this is the page that I was sick and I was so sick. After Christmas, my whole household, everyone at home were sick. And it was uh, 26th of December and I was sick for two weeks, two whole weeks. It was brutal. Uh, so yeah, that is basically me having fever and drinking a lot of liquids and I do actually have a N7 mug that I actually made for myself it's handmade uh, mug so yeah it was brutal and <laughs> I was sick over here but I just made um, what I was grateful for the end of uh, 2018 and what I hope for 2019 so I was very grateful that I was able to uh, participate in Bioware contests uh, with for fans by fans uh, later in 2019 I was one of the winners so I'm so still kind of weird about that but uh, one of the things that happened in January uh, 2018 was that I'm not sure if the community manager is still the same in Blizzard Entertainment. I think he is. Uh, he contacted me to share in the official Blizzard page uh, my fan art of Artanis. And still is kind of a ah, <laughs> cool and very weird, weird thing for me. But anyhow. Oops. Two pages. Um. Yeah, back then I did some new items that I add to my Etsy shop. Like this is part of um, the small box that I shipped with uh, my handmade pins. And this was back then the thank you card. Now it's a different one, but uh, anyhow. This is an abstract page. Usually, truth to be told, I'm not an abstract person, artist, but I just wanted to, you know, try something that i would never done before and this was the end result and I like it to be honest because it's very vibrant and I had some of the quotes over here, uh, a quote from the Leonardo da Vinci, the artist sees what others only catch a glimpse of it, it's a very cool quote and I love it and I think it's it's fitting perfectly and over here I was created to create uh, a photograph page photograph page to be honest I don't consider myself a, a photographer 
but I do like photography a lot and I do have my camera and I do have some photography done and I love doing so to be honest um, I started doing that after some event in my personal life and I just needed a, a fresh start and uh, I love mac macro photography to be honest um, this is actually a macro photo of some of my uh, liquid inks and this these are actually some of my brushes that I used for my oil paint paintings. Yeah, I love that photo. Anyhow, next page. My workouts, my different types of work workouts that I'm, I was doing. And yeah. My washi tape love. Then was love, now it's mania. And uh, when I'm saying mania, I mean it really like a mania because I love washi tapes. They're so cute, so so small and so amazing and so playful and awesome. And uh, yeah, this was actually a very small collection of what I have now, but was the start of my obsession with uh, washi tape. And over here I have some inspirational quotes from the masters, uh, meaning that those are quotes that I found from some of my favorite artists. I have Rembrandt, I have Velasquez, I have Leonardo da Vinci, I have uh, Auguste, and one of my all-time favorites is Claude Monet. And yeah, I kept those to, you know, just have them and uh, to look sometime when I'm like ah to, to get myself ins inspired and in the end of the pages the end and the journey never ends and that's actually true anyhow so this is the last page and you can see over here well I actually managed to oops <laughs> to stay like that so yeah this is the sketchbook tour of my Shaz art journal, my ever first art journal ever made. Anyhow, I hope you liked this video and um, give it a thumbs, thumbs up if you do. If you want to see more of this video, please consider subscribing. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. You guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you so much for the support. And if you want to find me on my other social medias, I'm gonna have the links in the description below. So, yeah, I hope to, get to talk to you guys soon. So, bye!